I wanted to make a very quick guide on how you can get cinematics of your car actually moving inside of Forza Horizon 5 all on your own without any friends. I ended up getting a few comments on the other day's video of me teasing a cinematic that I ended up making in Forza Horizon 5 of the Toyota 86 which is my actual car in real life. So because of that I wanted to show you how you can actually get footage of your own car in the game moving and not just going into photo mode and rotating a camera around your car parked. So once you find the spot that you want to go to, you're going to go into your settings. This is not required, but I highly recommend it. It's just kind of a common sense thing. Turn off damage and tire wear because I'm sure that when you're making a cinematic or something like that, you don't want your car all dinged up. So you're going to go over to online. This is important. You need to go to horizon solo because you cannot do this in the online version of the game. Make sure, like this is something that you need to do. Make sure that you stay parked for at least 15 to 20 seconds before you start going to get your clip or trick or a drift or whatever it is that you're trying to get some footage of. There is a reason that I'll explain to you in a moment and you'll be completely aware of. So we're just gonna quickly drive through this. This is where I wanna get my clip. Obviously I'm not going like super fast. It's just gonna a little roller of a cool clip that I wanna get, you know what I mean? You don't always have to be drifting and that kind of stuff. So that's basically it. Now we're gonna hit the rewind button. And this is where a little bit of a like hack kind of comes into play to where you're actually going to be getting the footage of your car moving now again this is not like perfect by any means and hopefully you know there is some sort of a video option for content creators or just people that want to get some cool footage to share with their friends of their cars actually moving and not just sitting there Okay, so hit replay. I highly recommend once you hit the replay that you hit restart. That way you're starting from the very, very, very beginning. So this is the important part that I need to explain to you. This right trigger, your gas pedal, you need to hold that down and click photo mode. Like you hold that down, it's going to play it and you're gonna enter photo mode. And like, this is where you gotta rush. And this is why I say park your car because it's, see, it's already moving. And just get like a little bit of a roller. And you just hit exit photo. I recommend that you do this a couple of times. Um, just because the footage isn't always going to turn out the way that you do it. It's something that you learn over time with editing videos. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Oh, I'm going to hit restart. And hit my gas pedal, enter photo mode, hide the UI immediately, and I'm going to try it from this side this time. And of course, in your editor and stuff, you speed the clips up, slow them down, and that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and exit photo mode, I'm going to exit replay mode. And that's basically it. That's how you get the rollers of your actual car. You just, you know, hit the rewind button and you hold the gas pedal down when you're hovering over photo mode and you just enter it. Yeah, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I hope that you guys are all having fun with Forza Horizon 5. I've been having a blast with this game and you know, the comments on the other day's video. And if you're wondering where I am right now, it is Grand Pantano in this area is the Ekbalam. If you go to your map, you'll be able to see it. It's just the temples. It's like within the first couple of missions of the game. Uh, I just really like that. I just think it's a really cool area. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.